Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so this is an energy of somebody who is having to make a decision, somebody who is at a crossroads, feeling like it's time to make some sort of decision, but they're trying to put it off. Um, this person is showing up as very fearful right now, somebody who's afraid of making the wrong choice, and um, I do see them um, hesitating or delaying some sort of decision here. Um, this person is definitely causing a block in um, progression in the situation there is a stalemate here with this energy because somebody here is a bit fearful of deciding so i do see somebody who is stalling buying time um you know very indecisive energy and um this is because they're overthinking things this person is definitely operating from a fear ba fear based place right now and um it's really preventing their ability to 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 take action or to decide here and um i do see this really delaying things in the situation um so this is definitely somebody who is um, quite guarded right now. I do see someone who's heavily afraid. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Sagittarius. Okay, so the first card we have is the Four of Wands, and this is Fire Energy. Next, we have the Three of Cups, Water Energy. And finally, we have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, so definitely there is a sense here that this person is having to make a decision about um, moving this connection towards being some sort of more solidified relationship. We do have the Four of Wands, Four of Wands, which speaks of relationships and stability. And um, I, I do see somebody who who wants very deeply to have this happy um in happy energy this happily ever after um this this could be somebody who is currently a friend um this could even be somebody who is currently um at a friends with benefits level with the devil card here um but there is the sense of reaching a point where a decision needs to be made about are we progressing to a relationship um where is this going and this person is definitely stalling for time um this person there is a, there's a strong attachment with the devil card here i do see somebody who is very attached but also someone who's very afraid of um committing to a relationship a real relationship with a title and a, a label and everything so definitely this person is going to keep buying time i do see um with the devil here this is definitely somebody who is very attracted to you um this is somebody who's very um attached to your body i do see somebody who is um you know very desires you greatly very strongly here and um there is just a sense of them having some sort of obsessive energy around this um this is somebody who's used to codependent relationships as well um, there is some some level of toxicity around the way this person has done relationships and um, their association with relationships so I do see someone who is kind of afraid of committing someone who is afraid of titles and um, as a result I do see them um, causing some sort of stagnation there is no forward movement right now but at the other side of this decision is a four of wands energy so there is definitely um, a decision that needs to be made here so let's clarify these cards Sagittarius
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. Okay, so this is definitely an energy of passion. I do see this is someone who, um, there is constant communication coming from this person. Um, this is definitely someone who shows interest. This is someone who is very attracted. Um, they, they, there's this passion towards you. Um, there is a desire to move forward, but there's also a fear that is holding them back from really... Um, creating some sort of structure around the the um the relationship creating some sort of more um named or labeled um situation so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about the sagittarius okay so the first card we have is the nine of pentacles and this is earth energy next we have the three of wands fire energy and finally we have the king of cups water energy Okay, so definitely this is somebody who has a lot of emotions for you. With that King of Cups energy, um, I do see somebody who, um, you know, beneath the surface, there's a lot of feelings. There is a lot of compassion. There is a lot of um, emotional. This person feels an emotional connection with you. And I do see this as a person who's not used to um, experiencing this. And it, it, it kind of f f frightens them a bit. Um, but definitely there is a lot beneath the surface. And um, this person, I do see them having this desire to move forward. But definitely it's a sense of, um, it's a matter of having to overcome fears. And I do see these fears as related to their past, um, some sort of psychological logical issue that has been keeping them stuck in this devil energy where they have been um, entertaining quite shallow relationships up until this point and this person is very much wanting to decide about this connection about how to move this connection to the next level this person feels intuitively that um, there is a decision that needs to be made here and with the three of wands i do see this as an opportunity for this connection to expand um definitely there is a, a, a forward movement that could occur here um there is the sense that um you guys are waiting to be on the same page with this person. Um, this person, they, they really are attracted to you. With them seeing you as the nine of pentacles, they do see you as somebody who's very self-sufficient, somebody who doesn't need them, somebody who's quite independent. And um, I do see that this is something that has really made them even more attracted to you. It's really drawn them towards you. There's something about you that stands out um, from other connections that they've had. And um, this person is seriously considering um, defining the connection to be something more um, serious, something more structured with that four of wands. This person does want to have a happily ever after. This is definitely, um, I do see a wish of theirs, um, but this person is currently still doing some shadow work, overcoming some personal fears um, with that devil energy. There is something at the moment that's keeping this person from really making that next step. So this person, I do see somebody who um, time is really at play when it comes to this person. Um, there is a lot of um, shadow work that still needs to be done on their part, but I do see them still being very attracted to you and still wanting to keep uh, very much in contact with you. This is definitely somebody who's um, passionate about you and they like your energy, being around you, being in constant communication with you. There's even a bit of an obsessive energy about it. This person's attachment to you is very strong, um, but there is definitely a fear around um, structured relationships. So I do see this person um, still being in a bit of a stalemate, taking time to make this decision. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. So the card says, prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. Okay, so this person does see you as someone of high value. With this nine of pentacles and this energy here, um, I do see them viewing you as someone who, if they were to enter into some sort of uh, relationship with, they would have to really step up their game. They do see you as someone who... Um, you know, somebody who's good with or without them. And um, they do feel like it would be a lot of work and that they would have to show up in the best, um, you know, in the best form. So I do see this as something that this person is um, wanting to work on first. Um, definitely with this energy, I do see somebody who loves your aesthetic, somebody who sees you as very beautiful, somebody who sees you even as quite luxurious. Something about your energy is very um, luxurious to this person. You, you look like someone who's very put together. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, 
So the card says, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so I do see this person, patience is going to be required with this person if you do want to be in a relationship with this person. I do see them coming around, but it's, it, there's a sense of them taking time to get to this point. Um, this is somebody who still has a lot of inner work to do. Uh, I'm seeing some past fears, past traumas, a lot of shadow work still having to be done with this person. And there is a sense of having to wait. So, um, it's almost like divine timing is definitely at play here. So th with this person, um, patience would be required. But I do still see them wanting to stay in contact and communication with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Sagittarius. So the card says, love at first sight and proud spirits. When I saw you, I fell in love and you smiled because you knew. Okay, so this person definitely has a lot of feelings for you. And um, this is something they've had for a long time. There is just some sort of fears when it comes to this person that prevents them from really um, exploring connections um, beyond the physical. I do see this having something to do with their past, needing to work through some traumas. Um, but th this person has a lot of um, emotional depth. When it comes to you, they feel a lot. And um, I do see that this is something they felt earlier on. They felt this for a long time already. Um, but there is something about them wanting to, um, you know, needing time really is what I'm seeing with this person. Um, so if you are open to that, there is a sense of needing to be patient with this person. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.